Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Dark Xeno Knight, and this is episode two of my vlog. Now, I know these go on for on and on, and people random about Randall on and on about different things. To me, this is a recap of last week and where to go from here. So this week we had the bitter cold snap in PA. You know, we ended up with below zero temperatures for two or three days. Very unusual for this area. Usually we do get you know a wind chill of below zero, but never a temperature degree of below zero. And that's Fahrenheit for the guys that are watching in the UK. Yeah, I do know my videos do get watched across the world, and I greatly appreciate that. So if I ever just base something just totally on the U.S., please call me out on it. I like being a worldly figure. I work for a company that deals with countries all over the world, so I try my best to make sure everything's as worldly and friendly as possible. Now, let's recap this week. Monday's video, Minecraft Mondays, didn't do too well. I don't know if that's the way I advertised it or put it up there. Yeah, it was only a five minute clip it of, you know, starting to get ready, starting to get going. But, you know, hopefully as we get set up and going and we do creative, you know, building blocks of different things like Minecraft is, that it'll pick up. I'm going to give it to the end of the month to figure out what I want to do with the show. Tuesdays, it's Tuesdays. It's full match Tuesday. Enough said. Wednesday, what the win. Now, for this one, I used a game that went back all the way to 1999. Here it is, this is Odinion. This is a very old game. I put it up there on my channel, did a little review about it, played it for about three hours, gave you a quick snippet. I'm not gonna fully go into them. It's just something fun to bring back the past games. Where, you know, it did well, it did better than I you know, anticipated. I expected it to get one, two, maybe three hits. It ended up with around 10, and it still gets a few hits here and there. It, it's a retro thing, you know? As you can see, it's been a very long week. The mess behind me is just unbelievable. Behind me and behind my, you know, this Evergreat, you know, tag of, you know, Team Night Gaming is actually drawers and drawers of old uh, console games. I think this week I'm gonna pull out one of the old consoles, hook it up, get it going. That, that's my task for tomorrow, though. Now, Friday's video, which is Battlefield 4 Fridays, you know, like I always do, uh, did extremely well. The reason for this is I, I participated in a Gloves for Tags match, which is usually on Tuesday nights. I really don't get a chance to play in these matches because my two older sons have a activity they do every week between the hours that this is done. So this week, due to the bitter cold, the activity was canceled for safety reasons. And uh, it's one of those things that you always want to keep kids safe. You know, kids are the greatest things in the world. So, you know, we kept the, we canceled the item and I stayed home and played this match. Now this match, Gloves for Tags, is you have two guest stabbies out of the, you know, the server. And this week they were Matt the Musketeer and Gaming with Mac. These are two big YouTubers and I explained that in the video and you know, they are the ones that you have to go knife and take their dog tags. Now this the whole thing is sponsored by FPS Nation and Battle Chatter Online. And they're, you know, sponsored with Matrix, you know, wear gloves. Now, if you don't know who, you know, wear gloves are, Matrix wear gloves, I highly suspect you know, you click the link included down below. And uh, check them out. They make work gloves, racing gloves, you know, utility gloves, tactical gloves, any type of glove you could think of. So if you're doing paintballing, hard work, you know, mechanical work, driving, gripping, you know, anything you would need for your glove needs, they spawn, you know, they're there, and you can find them. I'll put the link down below. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that now that I, uh, I actually, in the event, I did get gaming with max dog tags now the reason this video went off as high as it did and at the time of this recording it's above 110 views now usually my videos only end up with 35 40 views in the first day or two and then they get a few hits here and there that's what happens with a small channel like I am which I don't have a problem being I like this I'm not gonna focus this year on subscriber numbers or anything like this I'm gonna make videos that are fun and just show you Yo, know, the good I can do and the horrible I can do. Just one of those things. Now, in this video, I'm talking about Battlefield 4 Fridays, Gloves for Tags match, went pretty much viral, considering for me. It, it went up, you know, above 100 views, which to me is, woo, ecstatic.
ecstatic. But uh, the reason why is I tagged Matt and Mac on it and also Pixel Enemy. I and gloves for tags. So they retweeted it on Twitter and it did extremely well. I appreciate every one of those views. I appreciate the retweets from both of those guys and their uh, affiliate. So it was great. It, it went really well for me. I hope to down the road get into another match with them or even just get online and play a few rounds with them. It was really fun and to actually have an objective in the game besides play the, uh, the objective PTO. Yes, I'm using chambers for that. But, uh, <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. It, the video was a lot of fun, too. And I played three matches, and it it was ballistic. It was just unbelievable to see how well these guys played. They played a lot better than I did, so it's one of those things that I love playing online shooters or any, any type of online game versus people that are better than me. Because the only way I'm going to get better is if I play somebody better and to work on it. That's how I feel, that's the way I tell everybody. I'm not gonna get mad about it, I'm just gonna play harder. I'm gonna learn their tactics and adapt them into mine. That's how you play an online game. So, other than that, I'm gonna cut this video short because the captain is a coming down the stairs to yell at me that I've been down here too long, and we'll go from there. So, until next time, I will see you all out there on the battlefield and gaming. Take care now.